ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton with us as always as we track the major developments. Take a look at this big number from a new Kaiser Family Foundation poll. Only 25% of Americans report their lives have returned to pre-pandemic normalcy, and 50% say their own personal mental health has been negatively effective, affected by the pandemic ordeal. All right, Dr. Ashton, BA2, we've been talking about that, but there is another, another what, a hybrid variant. What That's are we talking correct, about we and, and I want to really emphasize that as we hear about these new variants, it's really important that we do not turn a deaf ear to them. Not every variant is a cause for alarm, but we do need to know what's emerging because they will continue to emerge. This latest one is called XE. It's first detected in the United Kingdom back in mid-January. It is actually a virus made up of Omicron and the Omicron <laughs> subvariant oh BA2. It is too soon, too early to fully determine its transmissibility, although it does appear to be more transmissible than the other two Omicron variants. It's too soon to tell whether it evades our immune you know, uh, vaccine protection or natural immunity, and it is too soon to tell its severity. It has not yet been identified in the U.S. officially, but the assumption is that if it's in the UK, it is likely here, although not in high numbers. But when is it of concern? When does a, a variant graduate to that? When the World Health Organization deems it to be generally more clinically severe, and we have not seen that yet. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Amen. Jen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.